Well, you have probably seen them at the gym, the airport, maybe even a building where you work. But many other public places do not have one of these, an automatic external defibrillator. Some businesses are hesitant to install them because they're worried about liability issues. A Houston man is working to change that with the help of a local congressman. Channel 2 investigator Bill Spencer explains their efforts, and he's demonstrating just how easy it is to use an AED. These sixth graders are taking part in an experiment. <laughs> Lawrence, Sarah, Olivia, Lee, and Brighton hey! are five totally typical middle schoolers who are just moments away from learning how to save a life. But before we begin, let's meet Houstonian and heart attack survivor Scott Corn. I biked up through here. Uh, I made it to about right here. Corin was riding his bike through Memorial Park when he suddenly collapsed. I fell off the bike uh, with a cardiac arrest and, and had no pulse and, and no breathing and was essentially dead. But Corin says an automated external defibrillator or AED saved him. And now he wants to make it as easy as possible for businesses to install these life saving devices. Only 5% of hotels and restaurants have. AEDs. Many, many exercise facilities don't because they're threatened by the laws. As it is now in Texas, anyone who tries to save a life with an AED is protected from being sued if something goes wrong. But that same protection doesn't always extend to a business where the AED is located. So Corin went to Houston area Congressman Pete Olson for help in changing the law. Olson says too many companies are afraid to install these devices. They worry about if they have it in their store, somebody drops down, they try. Try an employee, they'll be sued. Olson's own building in Washington, D.C. has an AED, but it can only be used by trained persons because D.C. has a complicated liability law. To make the laws uniform in every state, Olson has introduced the Cardiac Arrest Survival Act. It would protect any business that installs an AED and anyone who uses it from being sued. These devices are designed to be used by folks who are not trained medical professionals. Cardiologist Jonathan Reiner says too many businesses lock AEDs away to avoid lawsuits. But he says scientific research shows they're easy to use. Push to shock. My favorite study is the study uh, that compared sixth grade kids to paramedics. Which brings us back to these kids. Our colleagues at the NBC station in DC set up a special test. How you doing? What's your name? Giving these kids the same directions used in that scientific study. And what we need you to do is to use this automated external defibrillator. We can't help you, and I can't give you any directions, but everything you need is in this box. And so we begin timing each kid. And with no training whatsoever, the kids all figured it out. On average, in about two minutes, plenty of time to save a life. And similar to what the scientific study did. Connect electrodes. I think a good yeah, up can handle like, this. It's yeah. like we did it in like a few minutes. Now, Congressman Olson says this bill won't cost taxpayers one dime. And it's a rare piece of legislation that both Republicans and Democrats can support. But to pass, he needs more co-signers. And he's asking you to email your member of Congress to ask for their support. We'll keep you posted on the bill's progress. I'm Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 Investigates.